So we're here with Niels Tunning in the power group for Alinghi Red Bull Racing. Can you just tell us a bit how your day was? Uh, yeah, so it was uh, early morning again uh, to take the, the best of the breeze in the morning here in Barcelona. And yeah, we managed to do that, so good day. How are you holding up in the cold? Uh, it's getting better and better. We're getting used to the cold and obviously the, the dressing uh, has upgraded a bit. So yeah, today was a good day. I didn't feel the cold. So. Well, you're on the power group, so you're working pretty hard. Does that keep you warmer than maybe the other guys? Um, no, I wouldn't say in the actual setup it's a bit different. Uh, so there is no more pedestal, as, as you've seen. So um, yeah, no more pedestal to keep us warm, but uh, yeah, just manage to stay active and, and you'll stay warm. So how does the cold affect your reactions to your movements on the boat and the communication and getting things done on the boat? Um, I think as long as you manage to stay active and keep your body temperature warm, it's not an issue at all, so it doesn't, doesn't affect. Can you give us a brief description of your training week? How long are you spending in the gym? What are you working on? And how much do you train before and after sailing? Uh, so I would say the training week depends a lot on um, the sailing days. So if we do more sailing days, we'll spend less time in the gym, obviously. Um, but it's yeah, at least 12, 13 sessions a week. And, uh, and yeah, depends uh, on the intensity we, we want to put. Are you all measuring uh, your power on what bikes? Uh, it depends on what, uh, what, what we use to, to train, so different devices and we try different supports as well just to, to keep it a bit uh, diversified. Do you have any numbers, that you're, any targets that you're aiming for? Your, what are your watts on the, on the bike? Uh, so we always try to, <laughs> to push more. Uh, on the bike sometimes, yeah, it depends. Um, yeah, it's quite, it's quite a lot on the bike sometimes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, on the pedestal it's also different. So. Yeah, just trying to stay active. So can you tell us what you learned specifically today on the water? Uh, I think we have made a big improvements uh, on our um, maneuver exits. So the jeep trim was much better and I think our maneuvers were much better in the hard conditions we had today. Yeah, so you put in a few more maneuvers today than you have in the last few days. So other than hydro, what, what functions are you doing on the boat? How are you helping in the maneuvers? What are you doing from tack to tack and jive to jive? So it's, it's mainly uh, controlling the jib and then uh, giving some good infos to the, the drying group. Um, but basically that's it. How are you finding the new, the new jib system? Uh, it's working really well, much better than the previous one. So yeah, good step forward. Is and uh, still hopefully more, you can still, uh, still learn more. Still more refinement to do or is it pretty much there now? No, we're still working uh, every, every, every time we go out. We try to measure jibs, measure loads and uh, try to get some more speed out of it. Perfect, thank you. And if you just give us a quick summary of the day in French, please. Oh, uh, alors, aujourd'hui on est parti assez tôt sur l'eau. On a fait, euh, je pense bien, trois heures de nav, plusieurs manœuvres foiling, et voilà, toujours des conditions pas faciles, mais, euh, mais une bonne journée euh, en général. Perfect, thank you. Thanks.